Hey, welcome back with us folks. Tonight, I want to show you how we picked up the Netflix dip um, in this chart. I want to show you step by step what went through my mind and I'll try to pinpoint exactly, well, I'll try to share exactly how to do it. So this goes to my friend Mark who has asked me to, to um, do this for you. And so here it is. I sure hope it will help you out in um, finding dips in your plays eventually. So here it was, Netflix had some news yesterday about something they're trying out. More news today about trying to go after people sharing passwords. Um, it has been bullish since a 52 week low um, earlier. We can see here the 329.82. So some analysts were bullish yesterday, more even today. So I was looking to, for, we, we, we bought it yesterday, closed yesterday. I was looking for continuation today, but where to get in? This is what I'm about to show you. So here it is. Um, this is the beginning of the day. Um, I like to look at pre-market activity, um, looking at the um, early rise. And then um, this is what we want. I want to concentrate on. Basically, you see this rise. Let me take a screenshot of this so I can share it clearly. Mm -hmm. This is the um, open. Basically, we win it. I like to, you know, this, this break of, of the pre-market high, it became bullish. Oh, and then it broke under. So this could be a fake out just to squeeze all the, um, the bulls in, uh, it, you know, it becomes a bull trap and it turns down after that. What I wanted to make sure of is how this would survive. If the whole thing had kept on going, I mean, it would have been a, oh well, too bad. However, the market was kind of hippy and this is what I was looking for. I was waiting for something to pull back to a certain area. Now, this red line that you see is the 50 EMA. And this is all done on a five minute chart. Um, 50 EMA and we hit that 50 EMA. Uh, if the, the EMAs are, for me, they're there to confirm something, um, the, because it was, it has been so bullish, the 200 EMA is something that I care more about than the 50. Nonetheless, this was there. So this is, you know, first thing that I noticed, okay, we're getting really close to the 50 EMA. What else? Let's get out of here for a second. And I'll look at the time. What's the time on that red candle? Look at the time. It's 11. Remember 11 o'clock, right? Let's take this for a second. Now, this is the SPY chart. Remember, I tell you to look at the rest of the market compared to your ticker. This is the SPY chart. 11. 11 is here. Okay, we are, let's get rid of this so you can see it. Basically the 11 candle is this one. So basically Netflix was going down, SPY started to get bullish, and um, here at 11, we hit the 50 EMA on SPY, on, on um, Netflix. What I also like to look at is the stochastic momentum index. I'll drop this down below. Um, let me put back the, the line here at 11. This was 11. So I'll show you the stochastic momentum index. See how it's crossing? Uh, so it's this line here. See how it's crossing to the upside? Now let me move out of here and I'll show you what this oscillator is doing. See, obviously the whole thing will move up. However, on the five minute, it will hit top, bottom, top, bottom. However, when it hits the bottom like this, rarely will you see it continue without some sort of a bounce. So I was expecting some sort of a bounce on the spot. And if you look at the line and the level on this line, look at the support it has um, from the previous day. This is pre-market. 
right? This is pre-market activity. Basically, it landed on support there. And this is yesterday's high um, just before the gate. We're really close after the, uh, after the open where it hit resistance. So basically, it was resistance. It became support. And I was expecting the whole thing to... Let's get out of here so you guys can see it clearly same line here and we hitting that line as support again now let's move back to same thing 11 right let's move back to netflix now we're back in netflix remember i was looking at the 11 um o'clock candle when it hit the 50 ema what i like to look for is support check this out this is the line it's getting at. So draw a line at the 11 o'clock. You just drew the line for SPY. You can clearly see that it looks like it's going to be on support. It's rising. It's at the this 11 o'clock drop. So basically, how is it reacting compared to the market? Well, you can expect that it's probably going to at least grab something. So basically, you're believing that this is the bottom i'm not looking for com uh, confirmation on this and then end up being chasing no what i think is this can be the right bottom where to and but actually where and why look this look at this and on support right we are hitting this is the pre-market activity we're very close to that high of pre-market. And look at this big, humongous candle when the news came out from the test that you're doing in South America. And how this is not a fat, fat finger trade. It was a huge order that was bought at, at that level. So basically here, right, it hit very close to 360. We are very close to 360. So you have one lining up, the other one lining up. You have this volume in one candle. Do you think it's going to bounce there? It could be a coincidence that it would bounce. However, when you have the 50 EMA bounce, when you have the rest of the market, you know, SPY is bouncing rest of the market and support well you have many things in your favor telling you that you're not gambling you're weighing your chances and these things are telling you that you are at the right level for a bottom to buy to the upside now i said my target was high of day high of day at the time was this here this was a little higher than 365 a little higher than 365 made it to there so basically you know it's a slow climb to that once it breaks through fine it doesn't matter if you're not in anymore the idea is not to grab the perfect treat but the idea is to be able to find a bottom you can leave runners on after you um you've reach your um exit strategy which was a retest of the high it went to um 373 ish or something uh yeah 373 to 31 final but in the end what i wanted to show you was how we found that bottom adding more st strategies than just you know gambling so um i believe there's more than yeah, there's there's more to it than just uh going with one indicator the idea is to go with many things in your trade analysis that will get you to uh picking the right play so i hope this helps and stick around we'll go for more like this